We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's... gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go, and then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please, but Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be worth looking around the island, too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CEO made me play dress up.
you. experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Hey, Loy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Aloy, I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? Their slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! You don't understand! You're right. 
I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having the strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? 
Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Critical threat detected in narrative escape containment. Applying. Lock it down! Terminating external connections. It's working! It's got nowhere to go! Capture imminent. Initiating contingency 13F. Wait, what's that? Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. Containment. <laughs> Cracked. Look! Engage. Autonomous defenses. Directive. Neutralize. That means machines are on their way. Get ready! Here they come! For I'll stay here. Protect Beta. Time to f got it. Be careful!
Deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has one. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. It's some kind of production chamber. Festus is up to something, all right? What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will be to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding, too. I gotta find where Festus is hiding. Looks like there are a couple of ways I could go. shield. Aloy, I've managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor, connect it to the power node? I think that could work. Okay. There should be a node you can override. Near the central platform. Thanks. I should do these things first.
Machines on the way. Beta! Hephaestus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. Get comfortable. Great. The Festus covered the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy! More machines keep coming! Please tell me you're getting close! I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out! Aloy, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding.
I'll try to get your access back. running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy? I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine Hephaestus was building. It must have finished it. Oh, it's, it's powerful. 
powerful. Whatever it is. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should... Should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if... No. Just stay where you are, okay? Handling the machine. Okay. We're safe. Sending Hephaestus back to you. No more hiding, Hephaestus! Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. This is 100% contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. We need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully.
copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Get behind me. Come on! Quit screwing around! Now we're having fun, right? No! <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay.
Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look. Done so soon. I've got more important things to worry about. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us? At the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta, in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship, a complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them, create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. 
Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. First Varl, now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice, sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait, the data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? Watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Again, when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silence Army away. 
I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. We'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. Erend, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... Uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. Uh, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenas can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you need to get through all these forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire them.
Let me take a look at you, stranger. Save these for when I need it. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey, can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right, so what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths and get Beta and Gaia back. But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Hikaru. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Oh, 
further east, to the Nora Sacred Lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy. But I tracked down the flower. Gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the sea rises as certain stone from death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... for not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. And I'm gonna use it on the sun ring and get ready for an entrance where Gala will never forget. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Yeah, beating the crap out of me makes it feel better. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Good. There are sunwings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. 
It'll make a lot of sparks if I hit that with a shock arrow. Look like they can catch the sunlight. Probably a fast flyer, too. Rush. Hilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient horse titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have... The override 
one of the communication machines referred to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. There's a tarmac. Need to get on top of its head. this thing. I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on the Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want him. the energy cell. Right on the time is back. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. Pulse from the tall neck should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horror so far too. It'll be useful, even after I deal with Regala. all over chaplain i gotta drop it now here it goes uh. 
of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through! <laughs> End of the line, I'm calling. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. You will leave your tails behind! Yeah, it is.
Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes, but there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold and the mountain's new plane song. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. <laughs> he surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, stated. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. 
You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. Might as well set I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. That one's changed too. The tribe. It is an honor to win a medal in Meridian if you believe such things. So what? What it must be like to fly. You can walk proudly, Outlander. Your courage inspires us. You! Let me take a look at you straight. Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. 
Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh no, you first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is th All right, people. I need you up in the control room, right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Huh. 
Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Lander, face me. Riding sun wings. Beta's gift. Now I can take to the skies. Flying up here. Better galore.
Skotala, I thought this might interest you. Three of our soldiers have gone missing in the Valley of the Fallen. The whole area is crawling with machines. And there have been reports of glowing lights off the coast. Marshal Mira should be at the Valley's entrance. She might need your help. Thanks. I'll look into it when I can. I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? Ooh, and I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys? Take the high ground, in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Beware, Eloy. Spectres ahead. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do.
Well, I'll just leave it here. Then. Here we go. Time you're ready. There's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. What's in this backpack, Metal Bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll push I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way across. Machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Aloy's under attack! Cover her! Firing! Help. 
That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. But I guess, uh, that dead one's handy enough. Hey, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of a whole world? Oh, yeah. Good times. Oh, more spectres. I'll attack with you. Here, of this rock. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Oh, I'm trying not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Go as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Looks like the others have things under control. Do it. 
blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. Now this is why I came along. Got it. Alva and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. What is that? Our army. I think you got their attention. Very clever. Had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt feed back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. The power database. Aloy, in case we don't make it, I just have one regret. What is it? We had to do all this climb. That a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. I guess now all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, that'd have made it nice and easy. Okay. Just some parts.
This way. Big jump. To the right, I think. And now to the left. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Another one? By the blood of the Ten! I grabbed you. Oh, not happy to see me? This zenith space stuff. Turn peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms. That was her puppet. Oblivion draws no such distinctions. Aloy, it's been intense. But Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. Who's been causing all the fuss? Tilda's little pet. Silence! Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze to the cracks into our faces. Silence? One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Uh, 
Are we supposed to be scared? Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Stop, Gerard. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Looks like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have.
last few Spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. That doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alba? Alba! What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. 
It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself, which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan, even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world together where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door!
she tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the ten. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope he's really over this time. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. 
It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. Overcome any obstacle. And the resilience. To rise after any set. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> 